What's up guys? We're just gonna give you a little insight today on how to manually calculate the offset. I know uh, we had some people commenting last week that what if your wheel doesn't have the fitment stamped into it? So we're just gonna show you how to do that manually now. So the first step uh, when you calculate your offset is to measure the bead to bead on your wheel. So that's basically the measurement from there to there. Um, it's really important that you measure just the beads and not the lips as well. Um, don't ask me why, that's just how it is. So our bead to bead measurement is 250 millimeters. So 250 millimeters, our width calculation now is 250 divided by 25.4. 25.4 is the calculation for millimeters to inches. Gives us 10 inches or there or thereabouts. So the next step for us to work on is to measure the, the backspacing. So to do that, you've got to have your wheel on a level surface with no tire mounted. And then we just use a flat surface. You can use a piece of timber, a piece of whatever you've got, it doesn't really matter. And we just need to calculate the distance between the zero point, the backspace, and the actual bolting face on the wheel here. So you can see that there we've got 175 millimeters. So that that is one of the measurements we need. The next measurement we need is we need to know the center line of the wheel. So the exact direct middle of the wheel. So obviously we know it's 250 millimeters, 125 would be half of that. So we can literally go like this and say 125, that there is our center point. So all we need to do then is subtract from the backspacing the distance, which was 50 millimeters, because it's 175 minus 125, which is 175 is from the top, is here, which is incidentally where we can see where the welding line is. So that's the distance between, that's a positive offset, obviously if it came this way, it would be a negative offset. So we have a positive 50 millimeter offset and an 18 by 10 inch rim. I hope that helps.